We are basically officially back to school now, which means back to those computers and learning. Artificial intelligence, or AI as we know it, is here and in many parts of our lives, including our children's education. Here to share more about AI and learning is Microsoft's Vice President of Education, Paige Johnson. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much for having me. Oh, I'm excited to talk about this because I know a lot of us at first are a little trepidatious, but AI skills are really important when it comes to learning, even young, right? That is absolutely the case. In fact, you know, Microsoft owns LinkedIn, mm -hmm. and AI skills are the fastest growing job requirement. So really, kids need to learn about AI, how to use it responsibly and use it well to be ready for college, career, and life. And the thing about the AI and LinkedIn is it not only helps people better their resumes, but it also helps you understand things better. And I just love that feature right now. Yeah. So how can us parents use AI at home with the kids? Well, first of all, you can use it yourself. It can be your own research assistant. It's really great at summarizing things mm -hmm. online. So it's different than a search tool. Yeah. It can actually go across the web and summarize things for you. Which is so handy. A really great parent hack in back to school. You know, maybe your kids are not allowed to use AI in learning, but you've already graduated from the seventh grade. You don't need to take it again. Uh, so yep. when you get a question you don't know how to answer, you can use it as your own homework helper before you help your kids. Put the multiple choice question okay. into Microsoft Copilot. Yeah. It's free, it's available across all platforms, even your phone. And you ask it, don't ask it what the right answer is. Ask it, tell me what the right answer is and why, and tell me why the other three answers are wrong. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that. So I can also ask Copilot, okay, Copilot, how do I teach this kind of math? <laughs> it can give you great, <laughs> teachers do that all the time. Do they? That's how teachers are using okay. it. Okay. So you are a former biology teacher. I am. Tell me about the benefits of using AI like in the classroom. How does that happen? Well, there are several benefits. When you talk about it from a teacher perspective, it's often about saving time. Mm -hmm. And you know from your own kids' experiences, your teachers are not sitting, uh, sitting around wondering what to do with all their spare time. Yeah, I know. It helps them personalize learning. It can help them with lesson plans. They can use it to create different writing passages at different reading levels. Mm -hmm. So if you have a slow reader, mm -hmm. you can actually ask the, the uh, AI, like a Microsoft Copilot, to rewrite it on an easier grade level. It automatically does that. Oh it's my amazing. Gosh. Where was it when I was in college? <laughs> exactly. No. no cheating. I'm just saying. Not it's so cheating. Helpful. Supporting learning. Yes. And then for students, there are a lot of purpose built tools yes. that they're using. So we have a great product called Re mm -hmm. Reading Coach. Reading Coach. Reading Coach. And it is a free tool. Again, mm -hmm. you can get across any platform. And what it does, it uses generative AI to help your child or the child in your classroom. Mm -hmm create a story that they're interested in based on topics that they're interested in, yeah. then they read it out loud and it gives them immediate feedback. So you know when you're supposed to be monitoring read out loud time at home yeah. and your, your student isn't really appreciative of the feedback that happens to teachers too? Yeah. This allows them to practice in a safe place. They can read it to their dog. They get immediate feedback. That's and they're reading things that they're interested in. So, okay, AI is something that is ever-changing. I mean, we're talking heads of companies don't really know how to handle this right now. So how do I talk to my kids about this? This is a very fast emerging topic. Yeah. And one of the exciting things that we just launched today is some new videos and a new Minecraft education world oh, that helps oh, teach yes. you about, about responsible use of AI, what AI is, mm -hmm. how it can help you. But let me give you three tips for parents to talk about okay. AI that are really, really important. The first one, like any online tool, you shouldn't share your personal information. Right. The second one is you should not use AI to create inappropriate content. That's okay. just going to get you in trouble. Yep. And the third one is AI is not a friend. It's a technology. It's a technology. Okay. That is so good. Those are great tips. I'm going to break those tips. <laughs> break them on your hand. Um, any other advice for families as we kick off the school year? You know, the big one for parents is really just to use it. Mm -hmm. Use it yourself, because the more you use tools like Microsoft Copilot, mm -hmm. the more you're going to know and be able to guide. Yep. And the other thing is, talk to your teachers and school administrators about what their policies are. Okay. As you said, this technology is coming out really fast. Washington is actually a world leader in building AI skills into learning standards across oh English, language, arts, and math. Mm -hmm. And so, schools are just learning how to adopt this themselves. You need to understand 
if your teacher allows it, what they allow, yeah. and really model that use with your students. Well, and I have to say, I actually used Copilot the other day because I had something I needed to talk with my kid about, and I really didn't know how to address the subject. And I asked, and I got great advice. That is a great tip. It was I'm so true. That. Honestly, <laughs> it was really great because it was like a sensitive issue, and I and it was it was just great advice because. Copilot did all the work for me, right. scouring the internet, and I didn't have to, and it really actually really helped my situation. So thanks to y'all at oh, Microsoft. That's great. I appreciate you. So glad to hear it. All right, and of course, Microsoft has lots of help for parents online in their family safety toolkit. You can go to the address you see on your screen and check it out. This portion of New Day Northwest is sponsored by Microsoft Store.